Virgo, welcome back to your channel messages. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, smash that like button and do subscribe. <clears throat> and for all of the returning subscribers, welcome back. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our new members, Joanne Carballo, Carrie Lucas Smith. Good to have you guys. Thank you for becoming a member of the channel. All right, personal reading link is in the description box below this video. Virgo. Let's get into this message. What is showing up here? Okay, you've got hammer, sabotage, rebuilding, interrogation, repetitive, persistent, working on it. Okay, let's see. You've got paradise flipping out there and you have engagement ring. Okay, hmm, let's see what's going on here. Are you getting an engagement ring or giving one? Happiness, expansion, joy enjoying each other partnership commitment okay so uh, yeah okay this is good news i feel like this is good news i feel like what's showing up here is <clears throat> there's an energy of someone who is desiring or will be working on a relationship rebuilding relationship that was sabotaged um, to the point of maybe uh, either offering or receiving a, 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 like an, a, a proposal. Why can't I talk? Blah, blah, blah. A proposal, okay? And even with paradise, this feels like a good outcome. This feels like, wow, this is amazing. Enjoying each other, expanding a relationship, being happy. I feel like there is someone here who wants to rebuild a relationship okay now so obviously rebuilding means somebody had a connection with someone where something ended and there's a desire to work on this partnership again or for the first we'll just work on it or try to try again is what i'm hearing let's get more into this oh wow we got the emperor okay this is bossing up taking the lead aries energy Going on this journey. Going for it. This is a go for it. Somebody's going for it. <laughs> Somebody's going to go for it. Like, yes, taking the lead. Like, this is like a power up. I kind of feel like, you know, in the video games, like a power up, a leveling up, taking this journey. Okay, let's see. So we've got fire. We've got water. Let's see. Death card. Okay, Scorpio energy there. Both of these are Mars ruled. All right. So Virgo, it feels like this is definitely somebody who is transitioning, starting new, starting over. Something has ended and now there's going to be fast movement, quick moving quickly so i feel like there it feels like somebody is making their way towards you here and wants to rebuild a relationship and is going to move it very quickly okay the cupid's arrows and it feels like with the death card starting over okay let's see if we can get a court card give you some let me get some clarification on this emperor here All right, yeah, coming in subtle and sweet. Sweet text messages, phone calls, very mild, testing the water a little bit here. Um, having a desire to communicate expressions of love. Okay, let's see, and doing it. So expect some type of message in April from someone who sits in a position of like, authority they could be older than you ah. i don't know why he's crying he's got pizza who cries when you have pizza all right let's see oh yeah get the lovers so with the death card here whatever was going on before whatever energy this is gemini whatever energy was happening before something that ended and needing to rebuild or there was a sabotage i see you and another person coming together in april definitely a decision being made you and another person making a decision to come together 
in union, partnership, la marriage. Larry? Who's Larry? Or Lawrence? I just heard Larry. Okay. Oh my gosh. So if you're wondering what someone's response is going to be, if you're asking somebody out or making some kind of proposal or love proposal, it's a yes. Leo energy there, it's a positive. It's yes, 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 yes. And if you're wondering if you and another person are going to work something out, it's a yes. And it feels like it's happening in the month of April. The love. <laughs> that, that lovers, this is like a reconciliation or some kind of um, like a decision. You're both making a decision to try or give a relationship a chance or another chance. But it's, it's more so. It's like progressing to the next level. Yep, yeah, there's... I just saw the chariot here. So that's progression, moving something forward to deal with travel, um, figuring out which path to go or where the destination is, um, and then taking action to go in that direction. So this kind of feels like to me there's somebody here who's open and willing to work on a, a relationship with you to move something forward, to come together, to be together, and move it quickly. Maybe somebody's been out of your life, or they were gone, but it feels like with the Eight of Cups, it's a temporary, it was like a temporary separation. Somebody had to leave, or maybe you guys separated or broke up, or something like that. Uh, the Paradise card makes me feel like this is amazing. Like this is just something somebody has always wanted. It it must be just like living in paradise <laughs> there's the ten of cups yeah and i feel like you're going to be pretty shocked shocked because maybe you thought something was over uh i don't think so i don't think something's over i'm not trying to blow smoke here virgo i really feel like there is some kind of shift cancer scorpio energy there there's definitely a change let me take a look at you now, you could be the one who's making this offer to somebody, um, and they're responding positively, or vice versa. But we're going to say for uh, the reading's sake that this is the other person coming towards you. Okay, so there will be some communication first. Let's take a look at you, Virgo, in regards to this. Okay, hmm. you're trying to calm down your maybe obsessiveness about the situation you're definitely attached to this person um this always feels like <laughs> satan and jesus to me you know it's kind of like feeling pulled but you know like under some kind of spell in regards to this but with a hanged man it's like just kind of relaxing yourself calming yourself down not being uh <laughs> trying to gain perspective on why you have such an attachment to someone if you feel that way or why you guys are like chained in some type of way to each other or why you guys keep coming back to each other or why you can't stop thinking about this person you might feel like you've got obsessive thoughts maybe just really trying to get more in a spiritual place in regards to your thoughts and um uh, trying not to obsess just trying you know the hanged man is kind of like really chill you know Pisces energy we got Capricorn there it's just really chill being at peace wow another major arcana Virgo there so you've been you're doing I feel like in regards to this you definitely well some Virgo here it definitely feels bound to this person um but I feel like you are trying to understand yourself in regards to this. Even if this person approaches you in April, you might be <laughs> not revealing that you feel very attached to them. You might just reveal like, hey, I'm cool. Hey, it's cool, baby. <laughs> Everything's fine. Maybe be a bit detached or come across as a bit detached. Yeah, and act as like Virgo, you're trying to not be excited i feel like you might be like okay let me just think about it or you know uh let me just kind of take a look at my finances but you really want like you it's not even you want like i mean the, de the desire is there with the devil so it's like 
I feel like you're trying to just kind of calm down any kind of attachment, you know? I mean, the devil isn't always a bad card. It's just this feeling where it feels like obsessive thoughts, like you're trying not to get yourself worked up. But, I mean, hmm. Maybe you don't want to reveal um, how crazy you feel about somebody so you're trying to play it cool you've got the ace of pentacles here so i feel like you're going to accept this offer from this person you know if somebody comes and gives you a ring you'll be like all right hand it to me <laughs> i feel like you're going to accept this and and really just but at first kind of be like Do I have anything to offer? I feel like you ask yourself, do I have anything to really offer this person? So, I mean, you do, Virgo. You do. Let's get some clarifiers. Let's show me the devil in regards to you. Okay. Yeah, you're definitely trying to move yourself away at this time or will be from... Like, if this person comes in, I don't know, Virgo. You don't want to... For, I feel like you don't want to show your vulnerable side. <laughs> maybe you just yeah i don't know you know when you show your vulnerable side then you open yourself up to be hurt totally understandable but then at the same time if you don't show that you stay isolated you know um yeah trying to free yourself you definitely i see you taking some kind of a risk here um and just being like if you're the one making the offer or the other person's making the offer, you do come to this place after maybe thinking about it a little bit, then kind of like, yo, I'm way too much in my head about this. Let me just say yes. Or, you know, let me just let go of the overthinking. Yeah, see, you go down a rabbit hole maybe. Well, what if this and what if that? You play out all the scenarios in your head of... Like, Virgo, you want to cross all your T's and dot all your I's and make sure everything is going to be perfect. It's almost like, Virgo, you want to just purchase some insurance in love. So if you get hurt, you're not going to lose out on anything. <laughs> I don't know. You're kind of conflicted here a little bit. It's like you want the offer. You want the person to do that. But I, I kind of feel you're like, okay, should I just say F it and do it? and just go for it or do I need to think about this more yeah so I'm not I'm picking up like a 50 50 energy I'm not really seeing I don't know maybe you're just being very logical <laughs> in regards to like you're trying to like get your balance here because you have some restrictions on you like mentally I think maybe it's really important for you to just try to get your head and your heart aligned to some degree. Because you're, you know, even if your heart is like, oh, no, I definitely want, I, I want this person. I love them. But your head is saying something differently or trying to talk you out of it. Like, I don't know why your head would be talking out, of, talk, trying to talk you out of it or trying to kind of like delay it or something. But it could have something to do with money. But I feel like the message here with Tempers is Sagittarius. We have Aquarius. I feel like the message here is find a place of harmony and balance with this. And, and I feel like the way to do that is just to give it up to spirit and just be like, show me the path, whatever the way I'm, I'm meant to go, give me the signs, lead me in that direction. Open up a path for me to go the way that it's meant to go without trying. Maybe you sabotage, Virgo. Maybe you're the one. Maybe you subconsciously sabotage you don't realize because maybe there's this fear of like i said being vulnerable it happens sometimes or maybe it's just with this particular person maybe you um you know like sometimes you know like people will be in a long distance relationship right they'll be talking online all the time and then get really upset one person gets really upset because the other person isn't wanting to meet them but the question I would like step back and ask is why would you even why would you even start an online relationship with someone unless you met them first and you've been together for like a long time and then you guys had to split for work or something but you know 
a lot of people get into online relationships because they have a fear of being in actual, like they fear intimacy, emotional intimacy, or one-on-one. -on -one. Being in long-distance type online relationships are, they're safe. And sometimes we manifest those and we don't realize we're doing it. But we're actually trying to protect ourselves, which is why we're agreeing to stay in them. You know, it's, it's, it's kind of like not so much on the other person, but to ask yourself if that's your situation, are you kind of protecting yourself in some way? I, I don't, I'm not saying that's your story. I just feel like you have some kind of burden overload. And I feel like you need to lighten the load here in regards to, man, making a decision. Yeah, you've been protecting yourself. And if you're the one that you feel like you may have, I mean, it takes a lot of, like self-reflect isn't just, you know, going into your room and just kind of being alone and like self-reflect is really asking yourself these questions and asking for enlightenment to, because sometimes our subconscious is running things and we don't, and our conscious just rationalizes why we're doing things, right? But away from all of that, I see a proposal. I see you and another person getting into like, like a, a, either an engagement ring is being offered. And I see this going in a very positive direction. Yeah, there's your two of cups there. This is like two people making a decision, M mutual agreement, feelings. Yes, deciding to be together, coming together. Like you've, this, whoever this person is to you, they are already your, your other half. That's what I feel like's going on. They're already your other half. So, I mean, what's your advice? It's hard to say. I feel like overall you need to kind of check yourself and see or ask yourself why you want to why you want to be with this person you know like for life you know not just because you you know I don't know I just feel like you need to ask yourself why why do you love this person you know what is it is it like I understand the whole magnetic pull between you and another person but like if that wasn't there is this the one you would choose to be with or no some of you are gonna be like yeah absolutely and that's great I, I i feel like another person here wants to be with you like full full on rebuild this relationship make something happen here between the two of you um I think what I'm going to do is when this reading's over, I'm going to go to do an extended because I want to see if you accept this offer from this person, what life is going to be like for the two of you, like what, how it's going to work out, how this whole thing is going to happen. Like, uh, is it just a proposal and then nothing happens and then it ends? Like, what's the deal? I want to see this person's true intentions for you because there's something here that's telling me that for some reason you're thinking about it and you're not sure if it's you or if it's something with them. So I will go into the extended after this reading. Um, if you want to purchase that, it's $11.11. .11. You don't have to purchase it. I pretty much gave you your message here. But if you're interested in having more insight in regards to this with somebody here, you can definitely, there'll be a link in the description box. Okay. Let me just get some messages of love to see what else here. Ooh. Okay. Spiritual lesson. This person is in your life to teach you a spiritual lesson. Wow, Virgo. Well, you might already know that. There's some kind of spiritual connection. Interference, an external party is intruding on this relationship. Okay, there might be somebody else in this picture. That might be something that needs to be kind of sorted out. It could be a person, place, or a thing. It could be a work. It could be distance. It could be another person. All right. Now you have friendship, a friendship that is leading to more, Virgo. 
and you oh leap of faith it's safe to make the move you're considering okay so if it's you making an offer here to somebody it's safe to do it and it's also so two safe words it's safe to trust in this situation and wow you also have twin flame divine counterpart connection and marriage relationship moving toward a sacred union like all the signs are there so i want to make a recommendation um do a chinese sign compatibility if you know who your person is and see how you guys like what your percentage is of like how you get along for some of you this is a water sign cancer scorpio pisces that is uh that, that is this other person let me see what else yeah do your chinese sign compatibility might give you a little more insight okay so it is safe to make the move you're considering but not right now okay um i'm not really sure they're saying give it a little more time everything in divine timing let things flow i feel like don't make an impulsive move here um i feel like spirit's trying to tell you just wait we will give you We'll let you know when it's go time. <laughs> you also have honeymoon phase or, or attending somebody's wedding. Hmm. So there might be an invite to a wedding as well. Or obviously it's being invited to your own wedding to participate in. Okay. Honeymoon phase. Feeling good to each to um feeling good with each other. Okay. What else do you need to know? Okay, for others. This is a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Or they could be on a cusp. Could be like a Scorpio, Sagittarius. Um, they could be a Pisces, Aries. Or they could be a Cancer, Leo. It could be cuspers. So yeah, you've got love spell. You're bewitched. You and this person are bewitched by each other or with each other. Yeah, so whatever you're feeling... The feelings that you're having, that energy, um, they're feeling, they feel it too about you. Patience, just a few more months. So maybe just wait a little bit. And there's also someone else in the middle trying to sabotage this. So that, for some of you, there may be a third party involved um, that you're going to have to get through <laughs> or is going to have to be removed from the picture and i feel like with the confession card um if you don't know that they may tell you that there was someone else involved or that they have been with someone else but they're not obviously they're proposing to you so there's a ending um they'll tell you that that person might have been like a gold a gold digger um i ain't saying she's a gold digger but she ain't messing with no uh, so there's a breakup from that person. Either they were a gold digger, your person seeking out, you know, somebody's money, or um, the person they were with was kind of using money or using them for the money or taking their money from them. What a message. All right, let me see. Other messages for Virgo. Okay, so you have... An emotional wish is being granted. This struggle is coming to an end, Virgo. You have twin soul. Even when times are tough and seem back and forth, this love is meant to be, and it's time to reconcile message from your admirer, or you'll be sending one. So there will be some communication coming up with this person. Um, like I said, on their end, it looked like they were going to be sending you some very sweet, love messages going forward um, and that might just be or you guys will engage in some type of very mild dialogue before actually coming back together look non-committal in the reverse so it looks like someone's going to commit 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 to something commit to a long-term marriage uh, that kind of energy partnership okay let's get some chinese signs all right, so we're starting off. It could be you are your person, year of the rooster, year of the tiger, 
Year of the Rat, Year of the Rabbit, Year of the Goat, Rooster again, Year of the Dog, Year of the Monkey, and Year of the Dragon. Now, if I didn't call you or your person's Chinese sign, it does not mean that this reading is not for you. Um, that's just more clarification of who the reading will be for. Okay, let's get some names. Okay, we've got a pink flamingo, and that's really giving me some paradise vibes. So it could be a drink, a favorite drink of yours or somebody's, or uh, somebody lives where there's, I don't know. Are there, are there such a thing as pink flamingos? I don't know. Or it's maybe a name of a place um, or a lawn decoration. So we have the letter Q. Someone is 33, someone is 31, uh, the letter I, someone is 43. <clears throat> okay, we have the letter, oh, XX, ooh, somebody's super sexy. <laughs> X-rated, someone's born in January. Um, we have someone is 59, the letter L, someone's name begins with an L. Maybe there's a Lee. Someone's 38. Did I say 1990? Uh, 1966. 1972. September 17th. Someone's name starts with an A. We have September 1st. September 12th. Letter E. We have 1981. Okay, hold on. 1974, the letter N. Letter A again. Annie. Uh, September 19th, we have someone who's 30 years of age. All right, what else? I just saw the word go. Okay, somebody's birthday is in April. Someone's 55. The letter F and the letter O. Yeah, I saw go. So they're saying just go. Someone starts the letter D. We have an L again. Allie. Are two L's in their name? Ollie. Okay. September birthday, please. September 2nd. And let's see if we can get more clarity on this person's zodiac sign that you're dealing with. Okay, Pisces, Libra, Cancer, Leo, Scorpio, Libra, Sagittarius, Leo again, and Libra again. And Aries, Scorpio, Leo, and Cancer again. Okay, so we also have what came out is like a pliers. <laughs> so maybe you're working with a pliers. You could be doing some kind of craft or someone works with a pliers. Okay, and you also have, oh my gosh, balloons. Balloons. Somebody's birthday is in April. There might be like um, a birthday message or somebody sends balloons to someone or maybe hot air balloon i'm picking up balloons or if you see balloons just kind of out of nowhere you know how sometimes helium balloons get loose maybe you see them that's a sign for you look i have to do my freaking thumbnail um and so for others these balloons are also pastel so i'm picking up a baby shower as well you could be going to a baby shower or um putting one together doing something with a baby baby shower and wow okay these two I'm just going to show you these last two charms and again I will go over to the extended if you want more clarity to see how things are going to work out you've got a lion here um I'm picking up like baby animals okay and there's also a white seahorse which I don't think I've ever pulled that um hmm Something to do with a white seahorse. Yeah, I'm picking up pregnancy. <laughs> I don't know what's going on here, but it's either a baby shower or a pregnancy. 
maybe you're attending this or you're finding out about this over the you know the month of April or somebody's due uh, it could be doing like a baby's room pastel colors yellow pink blue very neutral um, not um, specific to one color the white makes me feel very it's very pure and neutral so that's a real like strong message but individually yeah also so you might maybe you like seahorses or you do something with or that's the name of a stock seahorse I don't, I don't even know if that's a thing but maybe you do if you deal with that I don't really deal with that so um yeah okay I'm gonna go over to the extended and see how things are gonna turn out with you and this person uh, coming together the link will be in the description box below you can purchase that if you would like more information if not hopefully this is enough for you that you'll be able to take what you need and move on for tomorrow we'll have the extent or the um, weekend reading so yeah thank you everybody for being here i hope you enjoyed that reading i wish you all the best and i will see you all back here tomorrow take care Hey you guys, thank you so much for watching my readings. If you'd like to get a personal reading, please feel free to click the link in the description box below to go ahead and follow that link and book your reading. Please remember to book, subscribe, like, do all the great things. Um, and I hope that you guys have a fantastic, blessed, loving, and light-filled life. Thank you. Bye.